everybody. Welcome to your Thursday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday to show you a fun new project. Sorry, I'm just trying to see if it is going to show up. Oh, I just heard it on my phone, so it should be coming up on my iPad any minute. So hello, everybody. Hopefully you guys had a great day. I worked this morning and I work tomorrow morning. So as soon as the live's over, we are me, not we, I am going straight to bed because I've got another early morning tomorrow. Hello, Monique. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Anna. Hello, everybody. Well, I don't know if it is going to show up on my iPad. Let me kind of refresh it and see if it is going to show up. We'll see. Cross our fingers. So, oh, there it is. It's up. It just needed a little bit of a refresh. So I'm going to go ahead and point you down because I have got a lot to show you guys tonight. So have you ever looked in the catalog and found a stamp set that you think to yourself, oh, I don't know if this is totally me. So that totally happened to me with this set. So let me scoot you back a little bit. I wasn't 100% sure that this set um, was something I would love to. To play with but I stepped out of my comfort zone and I ordered it and let me tell you it is absolutely amazing it is so fun to play with these little cats and the little faces and literally I have had so much fun even at the embossing folder I don't know if you can see it but it, it, I should have brought it over. Um, it's a little, the leopard embossing folder. That is so fun. You literally, you can do a million things with this set. So that is kind of what I wanted to play with tonight a little bit, just to kind of get everybody else out of their comfort zone. So let me, I should say, I have this amazing little birthday box. I know many of you guys have seen this before. Let me wipe the dust off. I shouldn't have to because I should be using it. But inside, I have all of my birthdays in the months that their birthday is in. And I missed a couple for June. So I'm very, very sad. So that is actually why I decided to do this as well. Because on the inside, it says, happy a little bit late birthday. So these are going to be the birthday cards that I send out to everybody that I have not sent out to. So I did do little matching envelopes and it's a fun fold. So I'm gonna show you guys how to create this super cute fun fold. And I did it not only with the designer series paper that comes with this pack, and this cat I actually just hand cut out of um, the designer series paper. So it does have the coordinating dies that match it. And some of the cats, both of the cats, you can cut out of the designer series paper, but some of them don't have a die, so you do have to hand cut them. So that is where I got this little guy right here. And then I got thinking, oh my, oh, sorry, let me try to get that back in there. And then I got thinking, huh, I wonder what other designer series paper I could come up with that would look cute with this set. So then I brought in this paper and I started, I pulled it out a little bit. Well, maybe, there we go. And I just started kind of flipping through the pages to see what would look right with it. And then I came across, hold on, let me pull a full sheet out. Let me find it, there it is. Then I came across to this full sheet and I was like, oh, this is spectacular love it so let me bring in the card that I made with that one we're gonna actually make a couple of them tonight hopefully so this is the one that I made using the pink cheetah print and this is the one that I did out of the designer series paper that comes with the bundle so I thought it was so fun but then I got thinking I wonder if people think this would be too kind of kiddish for a birthday card so then I got the wheel started spinning a little bit more and I thought, why don't we do one in the Melon Mambo and then we're gonna do another one in Mary Merlot using this same designer series paper. 
So yes, this is more of the blushing bride color and that's what I did this card in. But I thought it still looked beautiful with the Mary Merlot and the um, Melon Mambo. So that's what we're gonna be playing with tonight. But I wanted to give you a tiny bit of a little tip on how to cut your designer series paper. Hold on, for some reason, I can't see. Oh, there we go, I can see comments now. So let's see, Darlene logged on, Monique, Karen, Bev, Barbara, hello, Valerie. Hello, Darlene, hello, everybody. Okay, so before we get super duper crafting, I wanted to show you how to score your cardstock so you can get two out of one sheet of cardstock. So I do this a lot where I um, score the cardstock before I cut it. Um, and it just saves double the time because you're scoring this all at once instead of cutting it and then scoring it. So I did, oh, it is definitely out of focus. Let's pull this out, see if I can focus back in. Let me push you back a little bit. Maybe that was my problem. Sorry about that. So um, that's why I wanted to show you how to score it. So I did put the measurements in the description on how to make this card, um, but I'll go ahead and go over it with you as well. So this is a piece of our thick basic white and it's um, a full sheet. So it's eight and a half by 11. We're gonna score it at two and an eighth, one line over the two inch mark. And we're gonna come over here and score it at four and a quarter. Oops, I jumped the track at the bottom. There we go. So those are the only two score marks you need. And then you're gonna bring in your trimmer and, sorry, hold on. I think I jumped the track again and didn't get it the whole way down. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna bring in our trimmer and we're gonna slide this in and we're gonna cut it at five and a half. So now you have just cut and scored for two cards. It just saves a lot of time. So let me scooch it back in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold the card in half. We're gonna give this, I did remember my bone folder this time. We're gonna give that a good crease. And this other score mark, we are just gonna fold backwards. There we go. Super easy, right? Let me go ahead and do the other one since I have everything out. So you're gonna fold it in half and then you're gonna take this other piece and you're gonna fold it backwards and give it a nice good crease. There you go. So now you've literally just cut and scored two pieces of cardstock to make your cards. Just cut your time in half. Okay, so let's start with the Melon Mambo. So we're gonna bring in all of our pieces so you are gonna need two pieces of cardstock, and this measures three and three fourths by five, I believe. Hold on, let me get my ruler. I actually didn't write them down, I should have, um, but I did do them correct in the description. So three and three fourths by five, I was correct. And then you're gonna need a piece of Whisper White and a piece of designer series paper that are the same size. And it is just a quarter of an inch smaller. So it's three and a half by four and three fourths. So first, let's start with the inside. So we're gonna take our basic white and I'm gonna bring in the Melon Mambo. And I want the same sentiments. I'm doing happy a little bit late birthday because my cards are going to be a little bit late. And I'm gonna stamp this right in the center. There we go, perfect. I have my little chamois next to me because we're gonna be using this on the other card as well. And I'm actually gonna leave that open. I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the card or the cardstock. There we go, perfect. And I'm gonna flip this over and we're going to go ahead and attach this first. So it is pretty crucial, and I never really say crucial, that you attach this piece first. And I'll show you why once we get everything else done. So you're literally just gonna line it up and press it down. And then this is going to go over it. 
months, but I'll get to that in a second. So now what we can do is go ahead and attach our designer series paper to the cardstock. And I brought in some of our basic white ribbon. It is still current as of right now. I think it is retiring and I don't have that much left. Hopefully we have enough to do these two cards. <laughs> I think we will. I'm just gonna grab a mini glue dots. And I wanna put this up on the left side. Bring this down and we're just gonna give it a little bit of a haircut. Oops, and I dropped it. Put another mini glue dot on the back. Got it, okay. And then just make sure it's even. So there we go. So that's done. So now we can start working on our cat and the sentiment for the front. So I brought in the face of the cheetah and I won't lie, it is a bit of a moment to figure out which way it goes, but you can see his little nose on this side and his ears are up top. So that is how we are going to know. It actually is a little bit better once you ink it, so you can totally see it, but unless it's inked, it's kind of hard to see. And I just lined this up. Now that I'm on a Facebook Live, it's not gonna line up perfectly because that's just the way it goes. No, so that's actually not too tragic. But when you're right on top of it, it really isn't that hard to line up. So, and then I have two different sizes of the little dots for the cat, and I'm just literally gonna randomly stamp these, oops, around. No rhyme or reason, just kind of stamping. Let me clean that off so I don't forget. And then I'm gonna come in with the smaller ones and just kind of fill in the pieces. So has anybody gotten this set yet? Or were you are you guys just as intimidated as I was with it? I do have to tell you, it is super fun. And I just brought in a sponge just because I wanted to get some of the white edges. I didn't want it to be so stark white. So I'm just going to sponge this up a little bit. And I'm actually just going to bring in a scrap piece of paper because I want to get some of the color on the cap too. Just to kind of break up the brightness of the whites. And I should probably grab a little bit and put a few little doodads on his tail. There we go. I think our kitty cat's done. And now we can bring in It's Your Day, Enjoy It. We're gonna stamp this right there. Okay, I have not turned the AC on in my studio yet and it's pretty hot. I am definitely sweating over here. Probably the lights don't help either, but it is, it's getting really hot out. I did not want to run errands today, but I had to after work. I just wanted to come home and sit in the air conditioning, sit in the house, because the air is not on in my craft room yet. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little piece of adhesive on the back and that I'm going to attach to the front of It's Your Day, Enjoy It. So I'm gonna flip that over. Yes, Bev, it is really hot. I am definitely sweating in here. I might need to open the door. Whew. Okay, so I'm probably going overkill on dimensionals, kind of like I have the last couple Facebook Lives, but why not? So we're going to peel these guys off, flip it over, and we're going to put this right in the center. I think this has turned out so cute. Okay, so now how I said it, it's pretty imperative to put this down first because what we want to do is we want to close this and we're going to cover up the piece so when you open it, it lines up perfectly. So that is kind of your fun, fancy fold for tonight. So what you can do is you can just know that you have to put adhesive on the left-hand side, or you can flip it over. You can line it up this way. 
and know that your adhesive is just going to go here. Either way is fine. And I am putting probably a little bit too much, but it is a fancy fold. So, oops, as I'm getting glue everywhere, there we go. So now you're gonna hold this side that has the adhesive up just for a second until you line up the side and then you can set it down. There we go. Super cute and super easy, right? And it's so fun. I loved just playing with this set and doing something completely different, like off the wall, completely different. So we can't forget, because I am a little bit late on, thank you for all the hearts, because I'm a little late on sending these birthday cards out, I wanna make sure they are extra special. So I have some scrap and I'm going to just line the back of the envelope with some adhesive. Take your paper snips and just snip around the edge. And I think I cut this at two and a quarter inches wide and I think I left it at 12 inches because I've done a couple of these cards already. So there you go. Super easy, super fun, and completely out of the box. Not traditional colors, but I think they're so fun. And it gives a huge statement, I think. Okay, so let's do the Mary Merlot. So the same dimensions on all of the cards. And we're gonna literally do the same exact thing. So let's stamp the, um, it's a little bit late birthday, or happy a little late birthday. We're gonna stamp this in Mary Marlowe. Stamp it right in the center, perfect. Clean that off, because we hopefully have time to do one more card after this. I'm going to take this and flip it over and attach it. Hello, Teresa. I just looked and saw you logged on. Perfect. Flip this over and we're going to attach this to the inside. Remember to do this piece first. There we go. And now we can set this aside and start playing with the front of it. It literally goes together so fast. Even if you don't use this set, if you use the same dimensions and just decorate it differently, it will still be absolutely beautiful. Okay, so grab some mini glue dots. We're gonna put this off to the side. Oh, I did. I probably have enough to do one or two more cards. Grab another mini glue dots. Oh, did I get it? Yep. Sometimes I wonder if it really attaches. Okay, so let's bring our cat in and grab my scratch piece of paper. And we're gonna do the same thing. So let's ink up the face. Hopefully this one I can get a tiny bit straighter. But if not, let me make sure that that's right. Yes. If not, it is still going to be super cute. Oh, that's actually pretty dang good. That literally was spot on, I think. Oh, I don't know if there's any leopards these colors, but there should be because I think they're perfect. So we're just going to randomly stamp the little spots. And then we're going to come in and fill in with the smaller ones. I know it's kind of hard to see the white cat on the white backgrounds. Uh, there we go. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna grab my Mary Merlot dauber. And I just wanna kind of color him a tiny bit so he pops. You could even put a little bit of Wink Estella on him to make him really shimmer. 
I'm going to lay them down and I don't want too much. I just want enough to make it so it's not so stark white. Perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Oh, we need that one more time. We need it for it's your day. Enjoy it. Have you guys noticed I've literally used this happy birthday set the last couple Facebook lives, I think. Hopefully I brought it over. Oh, I did. It's the happiest of birthdays. It did carry over from um, the catalog, last catalog. And this is the same set I used a couple days ago as well. I love it. I think it is perfect. Okay, so I think we're done with the ink. So now all we have to do is assemble this one. Oh, ha, that's funny, darling. It's called Happiest of Birthdays. I did this in a class to go when it first came out. And um, I love it. I love how big and bold the sentiments are, especially if you don't want to write a lot in your card. It's perfect. Flip this over, put a little adhesive on the bottom. Put the kitty cat on there. Flip it over, add some dimensionals. And the dimensionals will help keep your cat in place as well. So you really don't need a whole lot of adhesive on that. Perfect. And I think we should have time to make the last one. And the last one is kind of similar to this one that we did, just using just different designer series paper. So we're gonna set that down, bring in our card. We're gonna make sure it lines up. I don't know which one I like the best. I think they're all super cute. I can on it, I think I might like the Mary Merlot the best, and this is not a color that I gravitate towards but I really like it. So I'm just lining the this side up and then I'm gonna press this side down. So there you go. So do you like the Mary Merlot or do you like the um, Mango Melody? Or Melon Mambo, sorry. Melon Mambo or uh, Mary Merlot. <laughs> I'm getting all my M's confused. I like this one. Oh, so cute. Okay, let's do the last one. And this is another color that I do not gravitate towards very often. See, I like the Mary Merlot too, Darlene, is the Cajun Craze. I don't, and Very Vanilla. I love Very Vanilla with Cajun Craze, but I don't use it unless it's fall. And this isn't a fall card. It is going to be a happy birthday card. So let's see which one we like better on this one. So let me grab the happy little bit late birthday. Can you guys tell that I'm a little bit late on quite a few birthdays? <laughs> I know, life just is so crazy right now with both surgery and my work. It literally has just been nonstop nuts. Just like everybody else, I'm no different than anyone else. There we go. Okay, so let's, I kind of did that a little, oh, we don't actually, we're not doing, we're not stamping the cap because I cut this one out of the designer series paper. So let's find, oh, there it is, this little guy, and let's adhere this down. Perfect. And then we're just gonna flip, oh, the cat's already flipped over, so we're just going to add a tiny bit of adhesive. And we're gonna glue him right there. Well, let's put him down a little bit, even though it covers up the D a little bit, but I think the tail looks super cute over it. Grab some mini, or some dimensionals. We've only used a thousand of them the last couple days. And we didn't put anything else together and I'm already taking these backings off. So we're gonna have to set this aside so I don't put my hand in it on accident or attach it to the wrong spots. Let's put this card together. So this is very vanilla on Cajun Craze.
There we go. See, we're almost done. We got how many cards done? Three cards. It's not bad for a 30 minute Facebook Live and we're probably gonna be really close to that. And I wanted some gold ribbon and this is still current. I think it actually might be on the clearance rack um, or our super duper sale price. So definitely log on if you like this ribbon. It is called huh, Fine Art Ribbon. And I thought it looked perfect with the very vanilla. And this is out of the designer series paper that is in the cat sets. Uh, perfect. Okay, and then let's fold our cardstock. So we're gonna fold it in half, give it a nice crease, and then we're going to fold it backwards and give that a nice crease. Even though it's upside down, now it's not. So now we can take our happy birthday and glue it to the inside. So are you guys gonna make this fun fancy fold sometime soon? It's super easy. Close this up. Let's put some adhesive on the back side. There we go. Now I'm gonna hold the back side up just so I can line up over here. Make sure that's lined up perfect and then you can set that down. There we go. <clears throat> now we can put our cat, uh, excuse me. Now we can put our cat on. Ha ha, love it. I know I'll decorate the envelopes. I know I didn't on these last two, but you saw me want, do it once already. So I'll go back and finish doing that. So let me scoot you down a, out a little bit so you can see. So we have Mary Merlot, we have Cajun Craze, we have Melon Mambo. We have um, Evergreen. Evening Evergreen is the name. And then we have um, oh, Blushing Bride. Whew, that was a lot of, lot of colors to remember. So there you go. Which one is your favorite? I actually really think the Mary Merlot might be one of my favorites. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this Facebook Live. It is really hot in here. Oh my gosh, I think I might die. <laughs> AC is definitely coming on tomorrow. Anyway, if you need anything, please feel free to reach out. I do have a couple spots left for Saturday's class. So if you can come, please send me a message. I would love to hang out with you and see you. If not, I will see everybody on Tuesday for another live. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.